OK, well, uh, this is sort of a trick problem in a way. Uh, let me talk through it first, and then let's figure out the answer using a sneaky idea, and then I'll work through it as we would have normally. Look, we know that the absolute value of anything is always positive or 0. So in fact, I know that if I put anything in here, it's always going to be greater than or equal to 0. Here, I'm asking that this thing has to be greater than 0. What does that mean? Well, that means that this inside thing could be any number at all as long as it's not 0 itself. So what would make this thing 0? Well, x equals 3. So as long as x does not equal 3, I know I'm home free. So in fact, the answer must be all numbers, all numbers but 3. So that was sneaky, because this thing is positive. Now, how would you have done that if you wouldn't have seen that sneaky thing? Well, then you would just think as, as I think. I mean, well, you don't have to think as I think. I mean, you should think as you think, of course. But here's how I would have thought about it if I didn't notice that sneaky little thing. I'd say, well, uh, this absolute value is sort of repelled away from 0. So it's going to be bigger than 0, but also less than minus 0. Well, 0 and minus 0 are the same. So in fact, it would look like this. It'd be really weird looking. Here's 0. It would have to live way out here or way out here. Do you see? It's exactly what we said before. It would be every single possible number except 0. So now I'd actually have to technically solve this inequality, which would be, I'll write it out here, 2x minus 6 greater than 0. And this inequality, which would be 2x minus 6 less than 0. And if you solve this inequality, which I'll let you try on your own, or you already tried it, I hope, uh, you'll see that uh, x is less than 3. And the solution to this inequality is x is greater than 3. And so then what's the answer? Well, either x is less than 3 or x is greater than 3. What does that mean? It means that x can be any single number at all except 3. It's either bigger than 3 or less than 3, but not equal to 3. A little trick problem there. I thought it'd be fun. I thought, you know, gee whiz, throw a little joke and humor. Isn't that great? A little sort of tricky. You weren't expecting it. A little curveball in the inequality circle of problems. Happily, that's the last inequality problem I'm going to do now. So we'll take a little break here, and we'll come back and do something else. See ya.